in this video we will evaluate uh, this given integral over the region where y where on the region where y is equal to 1 over x y is equal to square root x x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4 so the first thing is that the limits of x and y the limits of x 2 and 4 are very clever uh, clear that the lower limit is x is equal to 2 and the upper limit is x is equal to 4 but we do not know whether the limits of y which one is upper limit and which one is lower limit so for that what you have to do is to sketch these um, equations so one is x is equal to 2 we know that this line is x is equal to 2 the next one is x is equal to 4 so this line is x is equal to 4 now to compute x is equal to y is equal to 1 over 2 you can use any two points and sketch it so 1 over 2 x if I put x is equal to 0 you can see that y is equal to 0 so the first one would be this one similarly now if you can put any point say if I put x is equal to 4 you can see y is equal to 2 so we have x4 and y2 you can put any point <coughs> so if x is 4 y is 2 and if I join them this is the other point if you put x is equal to 2 then when x is 2 y would be 1 so you would have this point so you can have any you need only two points so these two are enough and then you can just draw the line it's a straight line and that is y is equals to 1 over 2 x now the other equation is y is equals to square root x so again you can put when x is equal to 0 y is 0 so it starts from here <coughs> now again if you, you can put any value but for simplification if i put x is equal to 4 that gives me y is equal to 2 so if x is 4 y is equal to 2 so this is the other point now you do not know how to whether this is how this will go so you look at it this is a quadratic equation or you can say uh, this is a parabola equation of parabola if I take square on both sides this give me this one right so let's say I write this down first I cancel out so this is this is the equation of parabola and you know the equation if you know how to draw a parabola if you have a parabola of this type this goes like this and since in the equation we have only the positive side y is only positive here y can be positive and negative negative or positive here y is only positive so you can see that this should be goes like this and it has to touch 2 and 4 4 and 2 right now you can see from the, the graph the limit of x we already given is x is equals to 2 and 4 so these are the the starting and the end of the x limit so what we have to do is you have to find out the integration of this or the area of this portion where the above is function y is equals to square root x and this one is y is equals to 1 over 2x and the above one is y is equals to square root x right so the fixed limit you have to write down first so the fixed limit x is equals to 2 we write it x is equals to 4 right 
so it means here we will write down the limits of x so we write this sorry the limit of y so we write down dy and the second is the limit of x so we will write down dx now which one is the limits of y over here which one is lower and which one is upper for that you have to draw a line parallel to y axis so you draw a line parallel to y axis the first time it touches the graph is the lower limit so where it touches the first time is 1 over 2x and the second time or what you can say uh, another in uh, in a different way is that when you touches the the line touches these this area where you have to find out the integration of then you check the value of the touch of x axis you can see that when it touches the this below graph the value of y is this one and if it touches the above graph the, uh, the value of y is this one so it means this one would be the below limit and this one would be the above limit so this one comes from the below line and this one comes from the above line the below line graph a equation is 1 over 2x and the above one is square root x so this is your simple um, uh, integration limits now we can simply solve it by rules of integration and since we're differentiating with respect to y so x is a constant so that y square or and the limits are from half x to square root x dx you can simply put the values x over 2 is we take this out instead of y square we will put these the values of it that is square root x square minus now the below limit x over 2 square dx and if you further simplify it that is square root of x whole square would be x so if you multiply x to that would be x square divided by 2 and minus that would be x square into x x cube and that would be x square as 4 4 times 2 is 8 now if you integrate them separately 1 over 4 the integration of x square is x cube over 3 minus integration of x cube is x4 or four, 4 and the limits are from 2 to 4 so you can see that if I take out 1 over 4 common here is left with 1 over 3 and I can put the limits in x cube so 4 cube minus 2 cube and here is minus 1 over 8 4 power 4 minus 2 power 4 1 over 4 common so 1 over 3 4 4s are 16 and 16 4s are 64 minus 8 minus 1 over 8 4 4s are 16 and 24 to 56 minus 16
further simplify it. 64 minus 8 gives you 56 over 3 minus 16, 16, 40 over 8. You can see that that would be 1. So you cannot do that with a 2, with a 3. So we leave that as it is. Minus this would be 30. So 1 over 4, you can take the LCM as 3. 56 minus 90. So that would give you. So there has been a small mistake. It was 1 over 2. So that makes it 1 over 2. If we take 1 over 2 common, so that should be 16. And again. That should be 16, and again, if that is 16, so that shouldn't be 30. That should be 2 and 30, so that should be 15. Now, 15 times 3 is 45. And that is then 1, 1, over 3, and that is 11 by 6. I hope you understand that. Thank you very much.